Hi, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel as well as like and share my official YouTube videos. Go to my website www.susanmelane.com. Thank you in advance. Today is the 11th of April 2022. I'm going to go into something a little bit different in today's second video as far as that's concerned regarding the recording although I do have to check to see whether or not the first one even uploaded because it was about technology and so you know I've noticed that anytime certain things have occurred when I've created videos about technology how certain things have been as far as that is so maybe just maybe hopefully because there are reasons why they have to be done a certain way despite some people's hypothetical opinions regarding that. So, I have discussed, after writing about, but also having discussed, the Stony LaRue concert as far as March in 2013. Now, if anybody from Crystal Lake South remembers, there was this female, I don't remember her name because I wasn't at Crystal Lake South long enough, to actually get to know her real name, but I believe she went by Tawny Stone, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of irony in reference to the Stony LaRue concert as far as those situations, just as a hypothetical, because I think, you know, I mean, I also had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, where I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years to dissipate as far as the MRIs and CAT scans, despite the permanent aspects of my headaches and migraines, memory deficit situations, and cognitive disorders. So if anybody remembers who Tawny Stone was in reference to the IHOP, if I, if I remember correctly, and so while I didn't personally make any real comments about it, I know how my biological father was and what is the saying as far as biblical aspects. And then what is the stereotype in comparison to the reality as far as my particular life, as far as first generation or any Asians. The stereotype is that the firstborn is the one who's most cared about in comparison to the reality in regards of what I personally dealt with growing up. So if Tawny Stone, or whatever her real name is, as far as Crystal Lake South in Crystal Lake, Illinois, as far as that's concerned, if she were to have heard my biological father speaking, because anybody who's met Mike knows how that is, the hypothetical situations in those particular references in comparison to the actualities, because there's obviously a difference between the way I was raised compared to the way my biological sister was raised. So if going on those stereotypes, the way those people in Crystal Lake, Illinois had been, as well as some of the surrounding areas in those references, the irony of irony, if you wanted to have gotten back at that, the irony is you picked the wrong one in reference to the way my biological sister was treated in comparison to me. That's the irony of ironies because of what would be considered the stereotype. Because most would look at Mike and, you know, know that he has some sort of Asian background. So the assumption, hypothetically, would be that because I'm the eldest, in comparison to the actual reality of treatment situations, um, that you would go and, like, elevate Patricia wrongly. Because that would be the ignorance in reference to that particular area and town as far as how they thought stereotypes were. That was the first location where I dealt with the most amount of people who were like, I know how people are from New Jersey. And at what point in time did I ever do that? Not really at any point in time. Usually, if I had a response, it was flipping a table over and then being pretty, you know, I was quiet when having that particular.
particular verbiage in those references. So if that's what the normalcy in reference to what people think of when people come from New Jersey, I mean, sure, but that's not the way it was represented to me as far as how people thought people were from New Jersey in 1998 and 1999, and then in 2000, because then you have all those situations throughout the state of Texas. But then there were also all those problems regarding Susan Ross as far as the first period, which had been in gym class, and she was offended that I did not pick my first name, which just so happened to be the same first name as her. And then during the Miss Crystal Lake beauty pageant, which I did not want to be a part of, but because nobody in Crystal Lake South had any inclination as far as what I was actually dealing with, you know, typical high schoolers that, you know, have that needless drama as far as certain things that I just personally didn't have any patience for. And so those types of people in reference to the levels of bigotry that I dealt with because they didn't believe me that I was actually half Chinese. Because according to them, which Uri, if you don't have any idea of different features when it comes to Asians, yeah, sure. If you look at me as an overall, yeah, you're not really going to see those Asian features unless you get close enough to me, which, you know, um, at your own risk, I suppose, because you'd have to take a look at my eyelids in comparison and um, yeah <laughs> that is at your own risk in that particular reference because there were people in crystal lake south that were like oh i could totally see how asian you are and we were no more than or no less than like six feet apart and it was one of those no you can't and then those people tried to say no no no, no. i can totally see how you're an asian how and so they said, because of my eyes, well, I was wearing makeup. And so I pointed that out. And those who remember the 1990s, the cat wings, as far as the, the eye makeup. And so they were like, no, 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 no. If you don't wear makeup, I could totally tell how Asian you are. So the next day of school, I went in without any makeup on. And then they looked at me and I was like, okay, let me know how I look Asian to you. And they said, oh, because of your eye. <laughs> That's how it came out. And it's like, yeah, no, because I don't look Asian. I mean, I do if you know what features to look for. But if you don't, which you bunch of bigots in this area, and they didn't like being called bigots, despite the fact of if you go to classmates.com, Look at the graduating year of 2000 and the graduating year of 1999. I guarantee you can tell the difference as far as that's concerned. And remember, I was moved from New Jersey, going up to the five boroughs of New York City, as well as Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And so go look at classmates.com, pull up Crystal Lake South High School, Look at the years of 1999 for the graduating class and the years of 2000, so that way you could actually see the difference as far as what I dealt with. And so all those individuals that tried to tell me that they knew more about me when they didn't know a thing, but they had seen a bunch of TV. And so whatever it was in the 1998, 1999, 2000 time frame, as far as New Jerseyans are concerned, that is what those people thought I was. I got accused of being in the mafia. I let them know, no, 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 no. You know, no, 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 no. You let the Italians know that I, I acknowledge I have some Italian, not all Italians are a part of it. However, do not go and tell any Italians that I'm a part of that. And, and so some of them, the irony, is a bunch of them were like, well, we will. We'll go and tell. It's like, you, does that make you feel hard? And 
Okay, and some of these people, yeah. Well, I know some Italians up in Chicago. <sighs> rather live there in comparison to Crystal Lake South. It would be more similar to what I'm accustomed to seeing in comparison to Crystal Lake area. And so these people were like, no, you don't know. I know Italians up in, up in Chicago. Oh, okay, good for you. You let them know up there that I am a very small percentage of Italian, and you let them know that I'm not taking credit from them. You let them know that. And these people in Crystal Lake South are like, we'll go do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just letting you know we're, we, we know how people are from New Jersey. Okay. I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't believe that you know how people from New Jersey actually are. And so, <laughs> not all people from New Jersey walk around going like this. It's kind of a thing, you know, most people, I don't know what they thought, I'm fairly certain most people when they walk, they keep their hands to the side when they walk. Um, but you know, whatever, that's fine, we do the East Coast overall. Oh yeah, no, 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 New York City, oh, that's like a huge thing, everybody talks with their hands. <laughs> it's, a, it's a New Jersey thing, it's an East Coast thing, it's just, it just is as it is, it's not anything other than that, we just do that. It's not sign language, although most <laughs> know one particular sign language. <laughs> state I would guesstimate. However, <laughs> the amount of drama that occurred from this little itty bitty area, I could not believe how much drama came from these areas. And it's like, you know what? You know, now in the year of 2022, you know what? Now I know why we had so much drama on the East Coast. I, 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 I realize this now. It must have been from all of these types of areas that thought that they had whatever viewpoint as far as what the areas were and their misconceptions as far as that's concerned as to what we dealt with. You know, because all of these people, as far as whatever regarding Illinois in the small town area, telling me that they actually thought that they knew how it went in New Jersey, you know, they, they claimed the mafia thing, and it's like, well, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that they all live there. I'm also not saying that they were all from there. I'm also not saying that I knew anybody, because officially I did not, uh, that I know of. And even if I did, I, I wouldn't know if I knew, because I was a child and a teenager, so, you know. <laughs> Is kind of a thing as far as that's concerned. Additionally, <laughs> it's not as though the, the Italians have like the only thing in that, you know, you've got a few purebreds, you know, as far as backgrounds, but you know, apparently according to these people in Illinois, it was only the Italians and it was one of those, you know, not to come across as whatever your opinion is, uh, you might want to get that accurate because there's a few other ethnic backgrounds that might be a bit offended by you people in Illinois, thinking that the only individuals that have any, and I'm not saying in a, in a, in a crime aspect, more along the lines of, you know, there are people who work diligently as far as their employment is concerned, and that did not go well because all of a sudden they were like, well, you just admitted I didn't admit to anything. What I'm telling you is that you cannot judge just these particular factors. You actually have to get to know people. So now in 2022, it's one of those, huh, I wonder how many times people in New York City, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and the overall state of New Jersey 
in conjunction with Maryland and Delaware, had to deal with these types of people, and the drama that actually ensued was essentially because of these types of people from these little areas as far as the various towns in smaller states. And fine, no problem. Okay, you want to go and be up in the area, you know, you, you got to accept certain things as far as how it is. But, you know, how much needless drama uh, occurred in, and this is something I'm actually, I've actually been wondering, how much needless drama occurred because of these small town areas, nothing wrong with small towns, not at all, but like that, that stuff that goes on in a small town, that doesn't work in a big city. You want to know why? Because there are more cars, there are more people, and a whole bunch of other stuff that don't have the time to go and deal with that stuff. So, you know, certain types, oh, y'all don't know how it really is it, do, 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 because there were a few of those that moved up into the New York City area that, in, uh, what town was it? Or borough, I should say. So I was in the Bronx one time, and this female walks up to the group of guys that I'm hanging out with. Mike had whatever was going on as far as his business and stuff like that. And it was in the Hispanic district as far as the Bronx is concerned. I think it was the central-ish area. I think central-ish, centrally-ish. It wasn't technically fully central, but it wasn't at like the south portion of the Bronx before it connected to one of the other boroughs. But it was like centrally-ish. I know that probably make that probably only makes sense to people who are actually from the area. But there was this area, and so you had some people at the time. They had come over from Queens, and they were from the Hispanic area from Queens, which that's actually in the what was it? I think that was the Northeast area as far as Queens is concerned. And so we were all hanging out because my babysitter and my babysitter's husband had a bunch of stuff that was going on. Mike had a bunch of stuff that he was dealing with, and so we were all chilling and hanging out. And this female walks up and she's all, y'all know which why? And I stood up and I was like, um, what, do you, what, what, what can we assist you with? And this female, she goes, oh no, 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 I was looking at this whatever male. And I was like, ooh, no. Um, if you are asking for directions, um, you as a female want to ask me for your safety, okay? <laughs> because if you're talking about this guy right here, he's involved with another and because and no, no. Sure enough, 
one of like the it, it, it really is it's one of the touristy things they all kind of congregate in this one area and then and then you know at a certain point somebody starts coming outside crying and it's like well she didn't get the part and then another one comes out crying up oh, she didn't get the part and then the male comes out and rah, 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 rah. well he may or may not have gotten the part it depends he may have gotten a different part in comparison <laughs> it depends you know you, you, this is something you pick up on when you're accustomed to these areas and so <laughs> September or October, then there was these areas where, you know, all of the females looked exactly the same. There was absolutely no way to tell the difference as far as these females. Their faces were the exact same, their hair was the exact same, and it was just their clothes that was different. And, um, you know, it was one of those, they'd, they'd be in the street area, they're just like this, and it's like, what do you doing it's not that cold where are you from that you're that cold like you know get a jacket you know put that on you you'll be warmer i don't know what's wrong with you common sense i don't know i don't know what you're trying out for either but you know if it's where you know you're going to be outside you know you should probably get used to the cold because in october is about when it starts to snow you know, usually by the middle of October, we've had in the Northeast a few inches fall as far as snow. And so it's one of those, okay, um, I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> and then, you know, the same thing. You see them running off crying. Well, you know what happened because usually they didn't get the part. And usually they were told something like, usually, usually what they were told was, I don't care what your mom said, or I don't care what your dad said, or I don't care what your dance instructor at whatever school said, this is the reality, you know? And so whether it was in the Broadway area or some of the other areas, it's like, yeah, that's kind of the thing. And so when it came to Illinois, as far as Crystal Lake South, and then them doing the Miss Crystal Lake, you know, pageant it's like I don't want to be in the Miss Crystal Lake pageant I'm not going to win in the Miss Crystal Lake pageant because one I haven't lived here for a minimum of six years two <laughs> I don't want to stay here for six years um, three um, I, 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 I no <laughs> four yeah <laughs> America pageant anyway it's just the Miss Crystal Lake area so just saying so all of the Miss Crystal Lake contestants which did include Susan Ross and then Becky something another both of them being pommies if you know what a pommy is and so then there was Kimberly and I and we had been cheerleaders except I didn't actually want to be on the cheerleading squad just as I did not want to be at the Miss Crystal Lake beauty pageant. But I did the best I could in reference to, I, and I even informed the um, sponsor that I had. I said, you know, I appreciate that you're allowing me to do this, you know, as far as this is concerned, and I will do the best that I possibly can. However, so you know, I know that I'm not gonna be in the Miss Crystal Lake beauty pageant winner, whatever sort of thing. I'm me, and this is how this goes. And so people in Crystal Lake South, however, after the whole thing had been, oh, how dare you? And it's like, you know what, go speak with Anna. Don't bother me. I don't want to have anything to do with it. And then when it was that, oh, what, are we not good enough for you? No, it's not that. I just knew I wasn't going to, no, 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 you think this. And then I was told what I was thinking, and it's one of those, no. No, that's not what I was thinking. No, that's not what I was thinking. No, that's not what I was thinking. And then it was the, we know what you were thinking. No, no, you don't. You have you have no idea. Well, we know how people are from New Jersey. No, no, you don't. <laughs> no, stop doing this. <laughs> are you
are you chimpanzees? Are you trying to like reach for the bar that's not there for you? Like, what is it that you're doing? And so these whatevers were just, you don't know, we know how people are from New Jersey. Good for you. I'm gonna go live my life. Oh, you think you're better than us? No, no I don't. Not at all. I'm just gonna go live my life and not deal with certain things because I don't have patience for this. I don't have time for this. I have stuff that I actually have to take care of. And so, excuse me, can you get out of my way? And so, <laughs> these people were just the way they were. Well, as far as later in regards of working at IHOP, I, I figured I just look only in comparison to everybody else because I'm not having anybody fawning all over me the way others have as far as Crystal Lake South or any of the other towns realistically. I don't have anybody that's like, oh, I, I, you know, you're, you know, words that are pretty and stuff like that. And so I'm not getting any of that at that point in time in 1998, 1999, or 2000, or any point in time in my life, realistically. So it's one of those, yeah, I'm just going to go live my own life and go take care of stuff. You know, I'll go join the military and maybe I'll be capable to save the world and handle some stuff and, you know, go do that. And, you know, other than that, yeah, I'm just me. And so then the individuals at Crystal Lake South, as well as IHOP, were like, no, you don't know this, that, and that. If you could just believe in yourself. Hold on. I believe I just touched myself. <laughs>
circumstances are. You don't know what's going on in anybody's house. You don't know what it says in me because I look around and then I see certain individuals and I'm like, oh, fine. this 
and this and this and this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there you go. Which somehow that offended them. And it's like, you know, you people say you know how people are from New Jersey. Uh, I don't know what you are thinking when that uh, is, but you know, whatever, I've dealt with that a time or two, and it's like, no, no, I have this weird standard that if I date someone, the male cannot date anybody else while dating me, at all, not allowed, in any capacity, if we start dating, guess what, that's not, that's, that's not something that's allowed. Uh, and, and if, 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 if you are truthful with me, then I might consider in regards of, however, it's only if I meet both at the same time, and even still, I have the final choice as to whether or not I'm interested in that, because I have that choice. So I have this weird standard on that. And so, <laughs> I've had this weird standard since I could first date about that, where it's like, yeah, no, if you call that greedy to have the requirement that when dating and starting out that we are both single, or if, you know, because, you know, I'm polyamorous, fine, depending on the situation, though. So, it's one of those... It depends, because it's not just a random whatever. It is, you know, each person who is has their own standards up. So, yeah, you know, sure, if I were to have a harem of males, essentially. <laughs> okay, that's one thing, but that's if, and even still, I have to have, like, I have to, I have my ways, so not that that's ever been a situation that's occurred, but it's also one of those, yeah, if, if, if I have the requirement that, you know, I'm the one who begins everything, and then, you know, starting, you know, the discussions, and then, you know, whatever as far as that's concerned in comparison to just whatever, no, 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 I'm the one in charge. <laughs> This is how this goes. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 and I, this is my choice. That's how I, that's how I am. I'm very particular. Thank you very much. I'm about honesty, believe it or not, as far as the Ten Commandments, pretty, that one right there, that first and second commandment of the top Ten Commandments, yeah, you better believe on that one. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as far as that's concerned. And so I had made attempts to explain this to people in Crystal Lake South. They were like, what? Ew. I don't have to explain anything to you. You, you people don't even understand that. I'm not even going to make any attempts to explain any of that to you. You don't know. And there's just so much involved with you. Just you have no idea as far as, you know. And so I made attempts to explain a lot of stuff to these people. And they were just, no, that doesn't happen. In the rest of the United States of America, nobody has that. Yeah, no, that's the situation. No, 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 This is this way and this way only. No, no, and it's like, I, I, like this is, you have, I don't know why the, the Woodstock, Illinois area seems weird for you people to not believe in certain things while well, you tell me that you think I should believe in myself, which again, you know, there, that, there you go. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, yep, still there. Yep, fully there. Okay. So, <laughs> it was as it was. And so, I don't know why this Woodstock, Illinois area seems like you should know better. What year were you born? And so whatever year in the 1980s, and it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, the 1970s are before the 1980s. You should probably take that in consideration. <laughs> you really should. And you know what else was before the 1970s? And I actually had said this. One of the females goes and says, what? What was before the 1970s? 
Chicago and Woodstock. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about you people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know about, like, have you done any, like, have you read any history in reference to the 1960s or 1970s? Do you know any people that were alive during the 1960s or 1970s? And they were like, yeah. Apparently, that was magic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. See, there was some weird stuff going up on in there, and it's like, all right, then I'm going to go this way. <laughs> because then, you know, when you take into consideration technology, there's those Polaroid pictures, there's, you know, <laughs> digital, it, it wasn't around then. And then, you know, there's also, you know, in the 1960s and 1970s, who drew pictures? Who did any artwork in the 1960s or 1970s? Um, and then there was film photography and film videography and stuff like that. And it's like, uh, huh? I don't know about you. So I learned, I think it was in, I think it was 2003. Just during a phone call or something, it's like, all right, whatever. I learned about the uh, Tawny Stone. I cannot remember what her real name was. And it's like, I looked it up and it's like, okay, that's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I, I made attempts to explain to some people as far as the technology aspects of that being concerned. And it's like, okay. And so the irony of ironies. So I have a thing when it comes to, uh, uh, um, <laughs> I am very particular when it comes to what type of <laughs> adult type material that I look at. And so, <laughs> and my thing is, is it actually has to have a storyline. It actually does. I'm very particular and not into the whole like, Whatever, I, I am how I am, I don't care, it's fine. And so I actually looked at, and I did, I analyzed, and it's like, well, you know what, it's not that bad. It's, I mean, it's kind of a weird <laughs> sort of theme. But you know, I mean, it's not that bad, especially by still imagery. I mean, you know, it, it's not that bad. I mean, you know, compared to some of the other stuff that like Mark Spurry was into, this is fantastic. Who did the... <laughs>
But that's a whole other ball of wax. So, you know, that's fine in those capacities. And so... <laughs> but I didn't have a problem with it, first and foremost. It wasn't, you know, my personal choice. But it was one of those, I don't see that big of a deal. Now, in comparison, <clears throat> I now have my biological father with. And so, yes, I have a deeper voice. I know that. <laughs> And it is what it is, and so the same sorts of discussions in regards of when, for the, I lost count of how many times I was outed to my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister, you'd think that after the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth time of them having been told, you'd think that, like, oh, you know, she's... She's involved with this community. You'd think that they just get accustomed to, I'm gonna go do what I feel like going and doing. <laughs> like, you'd think that that would, you know, I'm not doing certain things. I'm, I'm staying as safe as I can, but seriously. You know, common sense. I was made fun of for being a square and I was made fun of for being a prude. What does that mean? What does that translate to? That translates to, I was made fun of for being a square because of the information aspect, and I was made fun of for being a prude because I wasn't willing to do certain things the way everybody else did. Ta-da. <laughs> and I got called a prude and a square in New Jersey, which, okay, not that difficult. <laughs> not difficult at all. Except for one male who tried to whatever, and it's like, oh no, 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 I wasn't allowed to date at that time, and um, mm -mm. no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it was a male from the um, track team, he had a Jeep Grand Cherokee or whatever, and he tried whatever, he pulled his little track shorts down, it's like, what, what is that, I literally said that, what is that? He's like, you know, and I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. And she's like, it's, it's, you know, and I was like, that's nice. Um, can we go back to track? Because I have more important things to do than <laughs> that. This is true. <laughs> and so we got back to track, and he, he got out of his car, and I go over to, I think it was Coach Dolphin, and he was like, Susan, where'd you go? And I, and I pointed to whatever the male's name was, and I'm like, yeah, he said that we had to go get Gatorade or something like that, and then, you know, stuff happened, and I was like, we need to get back. I don't want to bother with any of that. And so as he was coming back from his car, he's all... <laughs> like... Yeah, I am, like, I'm not about to allow you to mess up my work. Uh, excuse me, I'm kind of, you know, kind of, um, I, I was the floater, but it was the ringer, really, that was the term. Whereas, you know, if, if there was an extra boost needed, well, then I went here. And, uh, you know, if... <laughs> Because I could run fast, I could do high jump, I could do long jump, I could do shot put, I could do discus, I could do the 100 meter dash and the 110 hurdles, the 200 meter dash and the 210 hurdles, uh, the 400 meter dash, the 410 hurdles, and then the relays. And so if they needed someone to kind of give an additional, well, they said, go get the, because they didn't want to say ringer, because obviously that, and so, you know, go get the floater, and so, because, you know, floating around as far as, you know, from one section to the other, and so whenever we get to whatever track meet, it was, you know, okay, go get Susan, you're going to float over here, Susan, you're going to float over there, and I was just the ringer, and it's like, all right, so what's the stats on this one, all right, no, that's cool, no, 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 no that's fine. That's the stats. That's fine. All right. <laughs> what, what, what's the time I got to be? All right. No problem. <laughs> and so, and then once it wasn't, that's what it was. 
And so, you know, and whereas a bunch of the females were like, oh, she's totally involved with this. And it's like, no, this is why our team is winning. Yeah, yeah, this is why our rank, I, I, I am literally the reason why our ranking is as high as it is. Yeah, as far as the girls track team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that, that's why. <laughs> Otherwise, um, if it was just left up to you, well, you know your scores. So, I'm the, I'm the floater, because I float from one area to another, but realistically, the translation is, I'm the ringer. And so if you know what a ringer is in football, I ringer for track and field. <laughs> and so, <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's kind of how that went. And so, <laughs> but the females, they didn't understand what that was. Because Coach Dolphin was like, Susan, do you know what a ringer is? And I was like, of course I know what a ringer is. What's up? How you doing? And he was like, okay, well, you know, I noticed you could do A, B, C, D, F, G. And I was like, yep. And I'd really like to get into the pole vaulting. And he was like, no, right now they don't allow uh, female pole vaulters in the division. Oh, well, you know, I could really do that. I could get some air on that. Um, so, <laughs> and I could have, I, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't until, like, I think, I was told, I think, a couple of years later, so it was as it was, but I would have gotten some serious air. <laughs> Literally, if you know what pole vaulting is, I would have gotten some serious air. But, you know, because, you know, the, the other coach was like, well, do you really think that you could handle pole vaulting? You know, this pole, it can be heavy. And I looked at him and I was like, it's PVC pipe. How heavy is PVC pipe? not heavy at all. It's not a metal pipe. It's not a bag of concrete. It's not a wheelbarrow full of dirt or a wheelbarrow full of concrete. It's not a bundle of rebar. It's not a whole bunch of planks of wood. It's not this, 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 this. And I, and I was explaining to this ironically to people in, in, in uh, Illinois. And one of the females goes, you know what, you totally sound like somebody from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, if you're talking about building a five-car garage with a shed attached <laughs> in the back, yeah, no, that's, that's how that's done. <laughs> what are you thinking of? <laughs> they were like, because you're, you're, you're from New Jersey. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> how do you think a foundation is laid? <laughs> Seriously, you people, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, and so yeah, it was kind of, it was as it was, but there were certain situations, and so I don't know what was said and or done regarding that as far as the Tawny Stone situation regarding my biological father, biological mother, and or biological sister, and or my um, cousins, because they lived in the area because there was Kate and Allie Smith, or they may have had their legal last names turned to Kate and Allie Stanley because Edith Smith, who was originally Edith Gavitt, had married Mark Stanley. And so there's that capacity of not certain in regards to those particular situations. And so, you know, um, what was it? It's kind of like, um, so I have another pop culture reference. <laughs> I have one. I have one. I've had two pop culture references for this other mistake. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so there was a South Park episode. And um, what was it? It was, it was one of the dads who were going and doing something as far as on the internet, stirring up a bunch of needless drama. And I can't remember what the episode was about, but I could totally see, and um, for those who know Mark Stanley, I could completely see that. 
as far as that's concerned, being that type of that individual in that capacity, because, you know, I had the nerve to have my own opinions. Because anybody who's ever met me in person, face to face in person, is especially, you know, just in any general aspect, you know, I have my opinions, but guess what? Guess what? I'm not the only one. I would guesstimate I am not the only person who has had opinions. Possibly. Possibly. So, <laughs> nonetheless, it actually, you know, it was one of those, well, you know, from some of the stuff that I've seen before, it's quite tastefully done. And, you know, it's not that bad as far as this. <laughs> I don't really see the big deal in reference to this, this, this. But, you know, it is what it is because, you know, I am as I am, and I was born and raised in New Jersey, so, you know, what exotic dancer club has ever been in New Jersey? <laughs> or dance club, because, you know, th there is a fine line in certain areas. In certain areas, sometimes you don't know if it's an exotic dancer club or a dance club, depending on the night. <laughs> Just say. I'm not saying I know officially as a biological adult. <laughs> However, I am a biological adult now. So, <laughs> I'm not saying I knew anybody at that point in time. What I am saying is I knew people at that point in time before I became a biological adult. So there's <laughs> that. That's kind of also the reason when it came to certain things as far as some of these whatevers from certain, oh, y'all know what I, yeah, okay. Some of you the biggest freaks out there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you some freaky, kinky, I don't know when it comes to, because, you know, sure, 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 whatever happens on the farm, mm-hmm, sure, mm-hmm, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, but I don't assume, because, you know, to each their own, because to each their own, so <laughs> that's, that's just how that is, as far as that's concerned, and, you know, it depends on whatever as far as that's concerned. So that is what it is. So yeah, for those in reference to Crystal Lake South, you know who I'm referring to, as far as that's concerned. But you know, during the year of the 10 year reunion, I kind of, you know, taking care of the after effects from my head injury from Palm Sunday in 2000, dealing with taking care of my son and my daughter, you know, who were born in the year of 2001 and 2002, while I still had the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. Uh, but you know, some people were upset because I didn't remember them, despite you know not being capable to tell them because I didn't have the words that I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. At the time, they were all offended because how dare I not remember in those capacities. Now common sense would dictate whatever, but anyway, you know, it is what it is, and then lengths of time. Sure, 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 I remembered some people, and the majority of people that I remembered were people that I had spent a bit of time with. So as far as like IHOP, you know, when you work in a location with the same people for several hours in a row, Sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can remember them. Possibly, it depends on the situation. Not always, though. And, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's not an invitation to mess with anything because that's not helpful to someone who deals with the after effects from a head injury. That doesn't assist in any capacity. It, at all. Whatsoever. So where I could have probably recovered sooner, you know, in 
instead, I dealt with a bunch of needless, overdramatic situations instead of what would have actually been helpful for me. So, you know, there's that. And then, you know, I had gone scuba diving and earned 26 scuba diving certifications. And at that time in 2010, it's kind of like I have to take care of my son and my daughter. And then what happened to my daughter as far as that's concerned? And it's like, yeah, no, I don't have the time to deal with that. So, you know, I didn't go to the high school reunion because I didn't even go to the high school graduation. And, you know, if the situations were as far as that, as far as, you know, those types of, you know, high schoolers that don't get all whatever, as far as high school graduations in comparison of ever taking in consideration someone else's opinion as far as anything in that capacity. You know, um, I had stuff to take care of. I had stuff that was important to do. And so, you know, just saying, you know, I know that there are some who thought that they were whatever in comparison to what actually needed to be taken care of. And so, you know, egos and arrogance that are unnecessary, in my opinion. And so, especially in reference to quite a few things. So, you know, those seven deadly sins, they are, they are, as well as those Ten Commandments are extremely important in person, face-to-face, -face, in person, as well as online, as well as during phone calls and in any capacity of every aspect of life. It's always been that way. Kind of has by every aspect of whether or not some people believed it. So you guys have a good day. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel. Like and share my official YouTube channel video links. And then go to my website, www.susanmewling.com. You guys have a good day.